Wow, this is really interesting question. Where given to us are two rectangles with area 48 and 27 centimeter square. A circle is drawn whose center is lying on the side of this purple rectangle, and this circle is passing through these four vertex of rectangles. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find the radius of this circle. Let's check this interesting solution. This purple figure is a rectangle, and thus angle E is 90 degree. Now, with respect to circle AB is a chord, and from center a perpendicular OE is drawn. And by theorem, we know that a perpendicular from center bisects the chord, and thus AE length and EB length will be equal. So, if AE is x centimeter, EB will be same x centimeter. Let's assume DE length is y and EC length is z centimeter. Now, if you'll observe with respect to this circle, we have got chord AB is there and chord DC is there, intersecting at point E. Now, by intersecting chord theorem or power of point theorem, we know that in a circle, when two chords they are intersecting each other, then they cut. Each other such that the product of their corresponding lengths is equal. So here, AP times PB is equals to DP times PC. Same applying here in this circle. So we get AE times EB is equals to DE times EC. So putting AE and EB as x, DE and EC they are y and z. Now let's call this equation as equation number one. Now this brown rectangle, its area is 27, and area of rectangle is length times breadth. So from here we are getting x times y is 27. Let's call it equation number two. Same way purple rectangle, we have got length is x, breadth is z. So x times z is 48. This is equation number. Three. Now we have got three equations in three variables. To solve it, let's first multiply equation two and three. So LHS will be x square times y z. RHS will be twenty seven times forty eight, which is one thousand two hundred ninety six. Now we know from equation one, y times z is x square. So placing it here, so we get LHS as x square times x square. Or x raised to power 4, RHS. This is 36 square, or 6 raised to power 4. So from here we are getting x as 6 centimeter. Putting this value of x in equation number 2, we'll get y as 4.5 centimeter. And putting x equals to 6 in equation number 3, we'll get z as 8 centimeter. Now in this circle. DC is passing through center of circle, so DC is diameter, or diameter is y plus z. Putting the value of y and z, we get diameter is 12.5 centimeter, and radius, radius will be half of it, or 6.25 centimeter, and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye bye.